Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get The Opening Call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right under Featured Content. You just hit it right on the left-hand side. You can hit Subscribe. You can get The Opening Call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. You like it. You keep it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you folks. You can get your money back. Bottom line, Basil also has there an outstanding array of webinars that he's done. Over, over 10 webinars, so if you really want to understand how you ride the Chapman wave, how you're looking at the marketplace, it comes with the newsletter. Check it out. Hit that banner on TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Yeah, this is very interesting. And the patterns that we look at, look at last Tuesday, remember when we spoke in the interview, I said this particular pattern that for me is something that I'm keeping my subscribers to my opening call uh, cognizant of. And that is the dreaded H pattern, the lowercase h, which says that it comes down sharply. If it rallies and then at a peak A or a peak B, it turns around and rolls over and takes out the left side low. Okay. You've got to be very careful. I call it the dreaded H in red because if it does do that, it can continue down, and that's usually an omen to say, just be really careful. And look what's happened on Friday. It, it just nicked the left side, 35,639 level in the Dow. And today we're down 532 at 35,379. Day is young. You never know what, these days what can happen in the last hour. But so far, what we're looking at is that the price is underneath, quite substantially actually, underneath the left side low of, I think it was January the 10th. And we have formed that arch formation at a peak. A becomes an A minus. And that just says, in this particular chart, in this particular time frame, that's the daily time frame, be careful because you've had a confirmation of a sell signal that's gone to a sell mode. That is just descriptive. It doesn't say, oh, my God, sell mode means that you're going, it doesn't say you're going down to anything. It just says that is the, uh, the nomenclature that you can give it right now that it has already reached a sell mode. And if you had to do a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, you've got a little bit more to go, and then you get your one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. But look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart says, hey, we've been here many times before underneath the 14-period moving average. We're in a rising channel at this particular point. But what is happening is that the technicals are starting to deteriorate but at this particular point, unlike the um, daily chart where the nine period uh, on Friday was really close to crossing negative, today it has crossed negative. So that's a confirmation of the daily sell mode. The, the weekly, I have to wait until Friday before I can give any determination as to where we are. It does look technically like this nine period will at some point go under the 14, but you don't want to anticipate it. Hasn't done it yet. So far, that's good. And if you look at that monthly chart, remember last week I was talking to you about this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone that yes. we hit it. We hit it in the daily, then we hit it in the weekly, and the same price point hit the lower trend line in the monthly. So these are all things just to say, be careful. There's a rotational market going on here. Uh, we saw that on Friday, suddenly there was this, that big move up in the semiconductor index. Uh, and yet that was just one of those fake moves because today's down sharply. And to me, this is a bit of an indicator for semiconductors. And I've been warning subscribers that this is an area you've got to be really careful of. At 295, any time in the next two weeks, if we see a close under 285, I think that says that overall, the best index uh, to date is starting to weaken. Therefore, you've got to be careful. So I've got, you know, I've got the benchmarks to look at. And, you know, when even when you look at the XLF, which was doing really nicely because rates were going higher and usually – the financials, they like when the rates are higher. It's not the only thing, but it's one of the things that's important. So now we've got a peak E in the XLF. And uh, it's, well, that's, it's so interesting there that, yeah, the, there's a disconnect in the aspect that the financials, you know, JP Morgan and Goldman are getting smoked. 
So it's really so, intriguing that, you know, we got rates going up and they're, they're spread, folks, between the amount of money that's in the bank versus what, you know, is going to be paid on it, you know, goes actually, up dramatically. Me, when you talk about the spread, let me see if I can do this quickly. OK, this is the, so I'm, what I'm pulling up here, you'll see it come up in a moment. This is the weekly, uh, the 30 year, the 10 year and the five year yields. And then on the right, you'll see Wood, which is the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. And then the bottom one, you'll see the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index. So here we go. So because the a 30-year yield made a lower low in that move that went down to, uh, what was that, 1.678, the week of the 3rd of December, this move that broke out to a new high is actually new leg A. Now that's, you say, oh my God, A, it should still go to A, peak B, peak C, and D, but it's only just started the A. That can fail because it's under the previous major high. But look at the breakout of the yields considering, uh, considering where we were and where we've come from. This is a very big move in like a single leg going for one to three for about about nine or ten weeks. If you look at the ten year yield, that's also risen very sharply and and the five year is even even uh, higher. So this squeeze of the yields uh, is basically is telling uh, investors that, you know, for not that much difference, you don't have to go all the way to a 30 year, you can go to a 10 year. Um, not that you're getting the same yield, but you're getting a really good um, risk reward in the sense that you don't have to go out an extra 20 years. Sure. So that just says to me that the conflict that we're looking at in the market, and one of the reasons why I think that the market is still uh, pulling back, and uh, I've been talking about this for some time now, that the QQQ, the NDX 100, which in a sense is tied to the semiconductor index, um, that rotation can go on for a little while longer because if we do get some kind of a consolidation in the semis, it means that you can start to see some stabilization in some of the very weakest uh, NASDAQ stocks that we're doing fantastically. And that's why I've said to subscribers to my opening call, we, we've raised cash. Let's keep raising cash because at some point, some of these fantastic winners that just took a 30, 40, 50 percent dive are going to be good buys. So you want to have you know, money ready. So I don't think you need to you know, just tear your hair out and say, what on earth is happening to the market? Because it is rotational. And, you know, we've had uh, MRO, which is Marathon Oil, for a little while on the long side and we've gotten from the 1730 area and yet it's a 19.51 so there are places that have been working very nicely and folks it's very easy to get basil's newsletter come over to our website at tfnn you're going to go right into featured content you see the opening call you just hit that subscribe button and i heard it's been a little cold up there <laughs> it has been cold <laughs> you have a great one safe one basil look forward thank to the show you, tomorrow Tom. thank you man you stay right there folks come right back